Hello everyone. Today's tutorial will show you how to train AutoML image classification model in Vertex AI with Python SDK. I will be working with Lemon Quality Dataset, which I created in one of my previous tutorials, and let's start with quickly discussing it. So the model that I'm going to train will use the Lemon Quality CSV dataset. Here you can see its ID. We'll use it later in the notebook. And when I click on the name of the dataset, you can see that there are more details available. Here we have some examples of the images which are inside of our dataset. Also on the left, you can see all the labels that it has. So in our case, it's bad, empty, and good. And this is something that we'll want our model to recognize. Now let's jump to Jupyter Notebook in Vertex AI to start the model training job. All right, so here I am inside of the image classification notebook and let's go through the process. So first I will import Vertex AI library. Then I need to initialize the connection. Next, I need to get the data set from the Vertex AI. So that's why we needed the ID and you can either use it in this full address string. So you are appending your dataset ID to the location and project ID, or you just use the uh, model ID. It's, it's up to you. So I, I have the data set. Now I will set the name of the model, which will be lemon quality model two. And I need to specify the prediction type because with this auto ML image training job, I could uh, have one of uh, those two, classification or object detection. In our case, this is of course classification. So let's do it uh, here. Let's create the training job and here we'll run it. Um, so I'm providing the data set, training validation and test split, which is pretty common of course with, with the split numbers. And the last one is budget mini node hours. So 8,000 actually stands for eight hours. But as this model will be trained on multiple machines, um, this model will not be trained for like entire eight hours, but it can be finished sooner as it runs on multiple machines. So the total time on those all machines might be up to eight hours. Okay. So let's run it and we can view the training as shown there. So you see uh, the status is training. Um, everything looks good. And now we just have to wait for it to be finished. So as you can see, I already have the different image classification model um, trained there, which is finished. Um, so I will use it to walk you through the results and like what would this initiated model produce. So first thing you can see that uh, the total time to train the model was uh, three hours and 23 minutes. So it was not eight hours, but of course I already discussed that, that it will be less than eight hours. Also, we can see the ID which we'll use similar to the dataset ID. So whenever we want to get the model in the, um, with the Python SDK, we'll just use this ID. So to do that, we would just run like this cell and you would need to append the model ID there. Next, if we click into the model, we'll see more details. Um, here you can see all the labels. And actually this data set was very easy for the model to, to train because you can see they are uh, really high. Uh, also like we have their uh, confusion matrix. Um, but what's really interesting is that for each label, we can see false negatives, false positives and true positives. Of course, if there are some. So um, this is very nice because you can review how your model works, like where, where it makes most mistakes, 
which images are the most um, difficult to classify. So generally, it's a very nice tool where you can visually explore the results of your model. So this concludes the tutorial. I showed you how to train image classification model in Vertex AI with Python SDK. Thank you for watching.